Hello everyone, it's PC Helper here and today I'll be showing you how to fix hyping and online multiplayer lag issues for the game Watch Dogs 2 on your PC in few simple steps. So these steps will help you in getting the best out of your content and connection while playing this game. Before starting this video, I want you all to know that if you are facing lagging and stuttering issues in any of your game, then I have made videos on smart game boosters advanced setup and best setting for Nvidia control panel for best gaming experience. Make sure to watch those videos to improve your PC's overall gaming performance. Link of those videos is in the description of this one. And just before starting with the first step, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now for regular gaming updates related to this game and many other games. So without any further ado, let's get started. First step will be clean booting our PC. So what clean booting does is it refreshes all the components of your PC and helps in resolving any software conflicts in your PC too. So it is a really important step and if you don't know how to clean boot your PC, then I've already made a really quick guide on how to do so. I provided the link of that video in the description of this one, so just clean boot your PC and then proceed to the second step. So the second step is again a really important one. In this step we will be changing our DNS server. So what you have to do is first check which DNS server is best for you. So just search for cmd and open the command prompt here. And here type ping, p-i-n-g ping and first type 8.8.8.8 .8 and press enter. And wait for it to load the average ping and here it is, it is 12ms. And now type ping and type 1.1.1.1 and press enter. And you have to look in which DNS server you are getting the lowest ping. So in my case the difference is not significant. I am getting 11ms here and 12ms here. So the difference is not significant but in your case I am sure if you are getting low ping then the difference will be significant and you have to select the DNS server which is better for you. That is in which you are getting lower ping. So now what you have to do is you have to search for view network connections and open this. And once you are in your network connections, you have to select to the, select the network to which you are connected to right now. So I am right now connected to Ethernet. So I will just double click on it. And now you have to go to its properties. Now in properties, you have to select Internet Protocol version 4 and double click on it. And by default, it is on Optin DNS server address automatically. But now you have to select use the following DNS server addresses. So if you found the 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 DNS server better, so you have to type here 8. 888 eight, eight. and in alternate DNS you have to type 8844 four, four. but if you find the 1.1.1.1 1 .1 DNS server better then what you have to do is you have to type here 1.1.1.1 1. 1. 1. 1. oh my bad and here you have to type 1.0.0.0 Point 0.1 and that's it and click on ok and it will make a significant difference if there was any difference between these two numbers but I'm sure that the, if you change the DNS server then you will see better results. Now let's proceed to the third step. So in the third step we'll be forwarding ports. It is a really important step. So first we have to know what ports are used in the game Watch Dogs 2. So I have searched on portforward.com and I found Watch Dogs 2 PC ports and here we have the TCP and the UDP ports. So I'll provide you both of these ports in the description of this video so you can just copy it from there. So first copy the TCP port from the description, copy all of it and go to your firewall settings. So search for firewall and go to Windows Defender Firewall with advanced security. Once you're here, you have to select inbound rules. It will take some time to load and here it is, you have to select inbound rules and here create a new rule and here select ports so it is taking too much time to load here but once you select new rule here select port click on next and here select tc port because we just copied the tcp ports and paste them here click on next allow the connection click on next domain private public select everything click on next and select and give it the name watchdogs2 once you have done it finish it and after it select the udp ports and copy them once you have done it again create a new rule click here and again select port click on next and this time select udp port because we just copied the udp ports and paste them here click on next allow the connection click on next domain private public select everything and again give it the name watchdogs2 and once you have done it click on finish uh, two. and once you have done it click on finish and it will really help you in fixing the online multiplayer lag issues and hyping issues with this game. But if you are still facing this problem then you can proceed to the fourth step. 
So in the fourth step, we'll be flushing DNS. So what you have to do is, you have to again search for CMD and press enter. And in command prompt, you have to write ipconfig slash ipconfig space slash flush DNS. So once you have done it, press enter. So make sure that there is a space between ipconfig and this slash and then you have to write flush DNS and you will see the screen Windows IP configuration successfully flush the DNS resol resolver cache. So once you have done it, then again it will help you in getting the best out of your current internet connection because if there is any waste data in your DNS, so it will just flush it. So that's it for the fourth step and now let's proceed to the last and the fifth step. So another reason why this problem occurs that is server issues or any online lag issues is because your drivers are not up to date. So you might be thinking that you don't have to perform this step because your graphic driver is up to date, your windows is up to date. But the thing is there are many other drivers which are not being updated by your windows update. So what you have to do is you can download any other software which can help you in downloading your display adapters, your network adapters and keep them up to date. So there are many softwares available online. You can download any one of them and install your remaining drivers. But I have already made a video on one of those softwares that is Driver Booster 7. So what it will do is once you will click on scan, it will scan all your drivers and if any one of them is not up to date, it will update it in one click. So it is a really good software so you can just try it. I will provide you the link of this video. In this video I have shown how to download it first and after it I have shown how to use it. So download the software, update everything and you will see a significant difference after it if you have not updated your drivers. So that's it for the last step and i hope this video helped you if this worked for you please leave a like if you have any question write in the comment section also don't forget to subscribe for regular gaming content related to this game and many other games thank you and have a nice day